So now in this video, we're going to look at a demonstration circuit of using an NPN bipolar junction transistor as a switch. This is, you know, a demonstration circuit. This isn't really how you would wire up a circuit. You could just, you know, uh, detach a jumper and attach it to turn the LED on directly. But uh, we're doing this to look at how it's controlling the bipolar junction transistor as a switch. This is a 10,000 ohm resistor where to the negative supply that turns the NPN bipolar junction transistor off. The emitter is down to ground, base in the middle is connected to that uh, resistor and then the uh, collector is up here with a load, an LED. Now if I uh, put the jumper in the air I can actually uh, get stray signals to uh, get the transistor to conduct a little bit. So ideally you want to make sure that uh, you got a negative supply uh, there to make sure the transistor turns off fully if that is important. But there we go. Now we go to the positive supply and the LED turns on. So now coming down first, let's talk about the uh, schematic. We got a switch here, but um, this part here is basically anything that delivers a signal. You know, positive supply, negative supply, maybe even just floating, which would be an open switch when it's not uh, connected to anything. And um, so since we have a negative supply, this could also go to, this doesn't actually uh, show this uh, complete circuit, um, but that's not the problem, um, or that's not a big deal. Uh, if it's open, then there's no current flow base to emitter. We're using the 2N3904. If you're looking at the flat side, which is to the right over here, then the left pin is the emitter down at the bottom. Middle pin is the base, uh, middle, there you can see the resistor. And top pin is the collector, as I said before, which is to the right if you're looking at the flat side. You gotta put the LED in the right way too. That's the shorter lead uh, cathode, longer lead anode headed to the positive supply. We are limiting current through the circuit uh, basically with the 220 ohm uh, resistor right there. The transistor is either on or off. It either uh, lets the load go to ground or it cuts it off the way that we have it uh, wired up. You can also use transistors to uh, limit how much current goes through them, you know, using at least one other component. Um, but uh, in this case, we either want it on completely or off completely. So here you can see we have a 10,000 ohm resistor and the uh, total uh, current through the circuit is going to be you know, somewhere around 13 milliamps. We have 5 volts. This isn't as accurate as a multimeter. Um, but uh, there you can, you can see if I uh, pluck the LED, I'll zoom back, we got uh, 13. You know, we have less than 1 milliamp of current uh, flowing through that base resistor. But the current's flowing right now. Um, that current determines whether the transistor is on or off. The uh, bipolar junction transistor whether it's NPN or PNP. Um, PNP works the same, but uh, polarities would be opposite. Current flows the opposite direction through them. And so we're just gonna keep uh, on the NPN though. Just realize PNP is the same, just the opposite. So with the NPN bipolar junk transistor, uh, this is a diode basically right here. Um, you know, it's a NPN. So we have a PN junction right there. This side has to get more positive then that side by about 0.7 volts or so. Just kind of like how the uh, LED has a forward voltage. Be, uh, same basic principle. After that point, you need to limit the current with a resistor. So it'd be, you know, probably 4.4 uh, volts across the resistor when the switch is closed. The other 0.6 volts being dropped there. And that will set the current. The transistor has gain. So what that means is that uh, if you have 0.1 milliamps of current uh, flowing through here and it has a gain of 100, that means that it's probably going to let about 10 milliamps of current uh, flow from collector to emitter. And uh, if the load is limiting it more than that, then um, that will be what sets the current, the load. That's just the maximum. Um, but gain is not set in stone. Uh, be aware of that. And um, so, you know, 10K probably works here. You can go lower if you might need a little bit more base current if you got a higher uh, current load that you're switching. But the main takeaway is whatever current's going through base to emitter, transistor is going to let through a multiple amount. When it's wired as a switch, as we have here, um, that's all it's doing is setting a maximum current that can flow. The load there can lower uh, that current. So the gain's probably over 100. I'm guessing probably 300 actually. And, um, but you know, you just kind of usually, if you're calculating, uh, you know, uh, most of them probably a hundred gain 
you probably want to put at least a 1% of the current base 2 emitter as you expect it to switch. Hopefully that makes sense. So I also added a pictorial here and uh, a number of circuits I did a while ago. And um, so if this is a little bit hard to see or if uh, you know you come across my website or something, there's probably a page here. Um, you can just look at uh, the picture right there. Got 2 and 3904, swiveled it to uh, the left, basically like I did there. And um, we got emitter, base, collector right there. 10,000 ohm resistor again because we need lower current. Positive is not always to the left on schematics and uh, this case pictorial. Um, but usually it's either to the top or to the left working your way, you know, to the right and down. Um, but not always. Be aware of that. So the drawing is whatever is more convenient for the drawing, not for helping you set up the circuit. You got to figure that out on your own. Now, when it comes to, uh, I demonstrated, you may not be able to see it um, with this light. I think you can see it a little bit there, but I'll turn that lamp off. Every time I touch it, it lights up a little bit. That's because my body, stray signals in the air even, if the amplifier is sensitive enough because it's taking the signal and that's controlling what the load is doing. That's why it's an amplifier. And uh, it's not taking the power I'm providing and you know magically providing more power. The power supply is providing the power. In this case, it's also providing it for the signal unless I press that, you know, but not always. Um, if you have a separate uh, power supply for the load and the signal there, you still connect, in this case, their negative supplies together. They got to have the same ground so that uh, one current path can just flow through there. You know, imagine a little battery here. And then the power supply can, you know, power the load. You know, that's another thing you can do. So, in any case, uh, not a complex topic. Again, this is a demonstration circuit. Um, if you need a bipolar junction transistor switch, you're probably not going to find a schematic that has the setup that you want. Um, maybe you will, maybe you won't. But you know, maybe this is the output of a 555 timer. And um, their outputs, most of them, don't go all the way to the positive supply. And the ones that do, the specially made ones, usually can't uh, provide a lot of current. Probably less than what an LED needs. So you just have a little bit of current uh, that comes from the output of that 555. And it can switch a load, you know, practically independently. It does need a little bit of current. Um, but if that current barely matters, then in essence, the 555 is not really uh, switching the load it's just switching the transistor, which needs very little current, but the transistor can uh, switch a lot higher currents. Um, so yeah, hopefully that all made sense and you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.